What's up guys and welcome to my updated setup video. This is actually the first video that I'm filming with the new microphone as well so it's a great time to give it a test out and show you what's changed in the last couple of months. Well obviously the first thing and hopefully you will know because you will have watched and you will have seen what's been going on um, but I've got these two new monitors here and here um, I say they're both new, it's just this one that's new. That is the Dell 2412M monitor, and that is a IPS panel. And this one isn't actually new, this is the 120Hz BinQ one that I have had for a while. Both fantastic monitors, and obviously I'm very pleased with both. And both put together with the Scan FX dual monitor stand here. So we're going to do a little, do a little pan round and that's all that good stuff there it's a nice little nice little stand actually very pleased with that and obviously you can see the unboxing and putting together of that if you haven't seen that um, you've got this little guy really interesting I know uh, little hitman little guy uh, as you may have seen from my hitman video I wasn't actually that pleased with the game but enough of that it's all about the setup um, obviously the computer is down here and this, if you don't know, is a GTX 680 powered rig. It's got an Intel Core i5-2500K inside and everything else isn't really that interesting. Standard 800 watt power supply, 8 gig of RAM, SSD, all that stuff. But obviously the thing you want to hear is the GTX 680, which is actually great. It is a great card. AMD 7970 is probably actually a better card, but Nvidia I feel a better software side um, so yeah this has changed as you probably will know or may not know if you're new to this channel uh, this is my keyboard and this is the CM Storm Quickfire TK keyboard fantastic keyboard they have since brought out a Quickfire Pro because this is a smaller keyboard it doesn't have the bit that you normally have there so all the arrow keys and the numpad are combined into one which if which I don't mind I'm not that fast either way but it does mean that it takes up less space on your desk which is fantastic really but if you have the space then I'm not gonna lie you probably should go for the Quickfire Pro mouse mouse has changed yes we got this which is the Corsair M65 it's a fantastic little mouse um, it costs around 50 pounds and it performs really well. It's a nice luxury gaming mouse. The Logitech G400 I had before was almost as good. I'm not really sure it's worth replacing my G400 for it, but if I was going to buy a new one, I'd buy this. Um, it delivers really nice. The software I was a little bit disappointed with, but from a hardware side, there's nothing to fault really. It works pretty flawlessly and is really comfortable nice solid build quality so that's why I bought both of those um, speakers these are not cheap cheap but they are not exactly top dollar and um, they cost around 60 pounds there 5.1 surround sound setup as you can see there very nice um, surround sound is very good keep the other one down there and the other one oh, it's tucked over way down there I wouldn't worry about that but I love surround sound, it's beautiful stuff and if you haven't used surround sound then I would advise you get surround sound obviously if you don't have space you don't have space but it makes gaming so much easier and I'm proper happy with it and that's pretty much it from the computer side, we've done the keyboard, mouse, monitors and the computer itself um, some people do ask me and I have obviously do keep telling them this but they don't seem to listen this controller here which is an Xbox 360 controller is just one that I had from my Xbox 360 when I had it um, that is connected via this little thing here not that, that is the Nvidia box I'm talking about that thing over here and that is a Microsoft adapter, it's a wireless adapter you just turn it on just by holding the button down and it automatically connects, I'll show you now look hold it down, hear the little noise and we're good to go 10 quid that cost me, eBay if you do buy one make sure you buy one that has the Microsoft logo on it if you buy one that says Xbox 360 on it, then it's not official and it doesn't necessarily work as intended. 
because this is made by Microsoft it means it's officially supported and you don't need to download any additional drivers. That is the 3D Vision box just there that you may have noticed. I'm going the wrong way with that there. And those are the 3D glasses there. Must have to any computer is some bagels. If you don't have bagels it will not run as intended unfortunately. A lot of people don't get this right. But if you don't have any cinnamon and Reagan basil bagels to hand then your computer is naff and unfortunately your gaming ability does go down so a lot of people miss that one out bagels are a must and that noise is the home cinema setup and nice little TV it was quite expensive it was 32 inch Panasonic um, really nice little TV great colours blacks are okay not fantastic but they do the job nicely but the heart of the system is the AV receiver and as you see PS3 monkey channel blah 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 that is an Onkyo receiver okay, what is the it's TX515 or something like that I can't remember the model Onkyo are really good for home cinema receivers but this TV is all and home cinema system and PlayStation 3 is all hooked up to the PC so if you want to game on it which I often do especially things like Dark Souls then I will just have it hooked up over HDMI use the NVIDIA control panel or the Windows display and I can have all my games on here which is it works really nicely and apart from that PlayStation and the speakers which you're probably not that interested in but if you are you know speakers there 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 and there and those that is pretty much it for my setup obviously the computers the main thing but I do quite like to watch the odd film as you can probably tell by all the films that is great if you don't if you like James Bond that's a great little set but yeah that's enough of that thank you for watching I don't know what she's doing thank you for watching this video um, if you're not subscribed then why not subscribe to PC centric it's not all pretty boring cat related stuff and bagel related stuff it's all about bagels it's not all that sort of stuff honestly I really try hard to bring you stuff that is both informative and easy to take on and very useful I yeah, yeah one I guess that's interesting I like I was kind of inspired I guess by people like Linus the big guys but you got to remember with people like Linus they get a lot of stuff come in they you know they they're partnered so they get loads of motherboards and graphics cards and all sorts of stuff in but the only downside to that, I'll turn this off because I'm speaking now. Yeah. Yeah, the downside to all of that is that because they have so much stuff in, it means that they don't get to spend a lot of time with it. So I try and fill the gap and I do that by spending time with it. That's something that a lot of the time Linus and people like that can't really do. Elric as well, all of the, all of the big boys um, that have been doing it for a long time, obviously they know exactly what they're doing, they're the masters but they just don't have the time to spend all the products so I like to do my 8 days with and when I do that I can hopefully give you a bit more experience and actually tell you whether the product is good to live with rather than than if the product's good to use for you know half an hour so thank you for watching and if you're not already subscribed why not subscribe and if you've noticed the mic quality is better it's because I'm now using the Rode video mic, yay! And I'd like to announce that you guys paid for that. I didn't pay for that. That is all with you. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.